Okay. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast, Pumpkin Patch Edition. Today we're Cindy Gaffron. She is with uh, St. Joe Live. They do a number of events through the year, but they have one particular this fall, Pumpkin Fest coming up. And uh, Cindy, thanks for joining us. Oh, you're very welcome. It's a pleasure to be there. Cindy, give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up? Talk a little bit about your family. Well, you know, I'm from a small town 18 miles north and east of here called Union Star. Uh, we got the name because it was the Union Troops and the Star Mail Routes. So that's how Union Star got its name. I was on city council for many years. So kind of learned a little bit about it. Uh, my family uh, was all from there. My uh, my actual Daffron family uh, started in 1840 in Amity, Missouri. So kind of wow. got a Missouri background. Yeah, kind of big. Yeah. Very cool. All right, let's jump into Pumpkin Fest. People hop out of their cars. They come on site there in St. Joe. What are they going to see? You know, on October the 13th on a Friday, but prior to that, a lot of the community comes on October 9th through the 12th. So a guy actually raises pumpkins for us and we will go to the patch and pick them up. And part of them, the biggest ones we call logo pumpkins. We take them and we gut them from the bottom so that the stem is at the top. So if the water comes, it will go off of them. In the very back, we will drill a hole and we put a Christmas light in them. So every pumpkin is electrically lit and it's on a scaffolding. And uh, there's about a thousand pumpkins on the wall and in front, we call the pumpkin patch. It's what we call the little guys. So like one of the schools brings and paints the little, what we call uh, mini pumpkins uh -huh. and pie pumpkins. There's another name for them. And then the schools will get delivered right around six to 700 pumpkins and the cool. kids can carve them any way they want. Now, the major difference is they gut them like you would at your house. We gut them out, but we skin them on the inside and we leave the skin and then only put the logo of the business so that it reflects all weekend long. So then Friday at seven o'clock, ultimately everyone gathers around on Friday night. We do a big thing. The fire department uh, puts a big flag up. We sing the national anthem. We do the pledge, do a countdown. And then all of a sudden some kid hits a magical switch and all 1,000 pumpkins come on at one time. Uh, so the logo pumpkins are kind of in the middle of the mountain. And then the sides would be all of the ones carved by children. Oh, so man. it's kind of a magical event. And there's a band that plays uh, prior to the, that. And we have straw bales out. So it kind of fits the demeanor of the Pony Express. Um, and then when the band gets done, they'll wait and then they'll play some more. A lot of people come up because there's a kind of a gate or a fence in front of it and take pictures of their pumpkin that was for their child or grandchild. And then other people just that's their thing. They come and magically uh, you can look on our website and you will see Pumpkin Fest and you will see this big mountain of pumpkins. It, it's a lot of work. Then north yeah. of us is a thing called Patey Park. And in Patey Park are crafters, vendors, kind of children's little blow up things to do. On Knight Street adjacent to the park, the food vendors are there. So we kind of have a little of all of the taste of the St. Joe, different barbecue, as you would guess. Uh, yeah. We have an ice cream truck coming this time. Um, we also have a lady that does wonderful tenderloins and another one who specializes in different things like ice cream. Uh, one lady, I think, did nothing but desserts and fresh lemonade. And that seems to be very, very popular. Along with the bees, they seem to be popular with uh, <laughs> this yeah. time of October. A for little sure, bit. for sure. What's your favorite part? Cindy? You know, my favorite part is when the lights go on, it's such a relief to really see it. But I think for me to have kids come up and say, you know, Cindy, that's my pumpkin. Or they'll come up and say, Cindy, I want you, you know, you helped. Uh, I was a child and I came to Pumpkin Fest, but now I want you to meet my children. This is so they bring them generations mm. come. So a lot of times families will come back and visit St. Joe, specifically at Pumpkin Fest, because there's one big pumpkin that people get their face behind and families have taken pictures there. This will be our 27th year. So a lot of that's been going on about at least 20 years of taking pictures. Uh, we have another stage for full entertainment uh, and a little place you can sit down and get your food and listen to some free music. We don't charge for any of the entertainment. Uh, we feel like uh, we get enough sponsorship that 
the locality that we're kind of located in allows people with children that have three or four that to come and not have to pay a fee, figure out, you know, we have a little children's tent. If you have a dollar, we sell things for a quarter, a nickel, a dime. Do we make any money? <laughs> not really. It's not intended to. It's experience for children. Right. And then to top it off, we have a gazebo with another small area, like a lady brings um, her creatures. Another guy brings uh, sh uh, therapy dogs. Another lady will bring her petting zoo and she has ponies that go in a circle. So the kids like it. Oh, wow. And the most popular last year was 990 children got a free ticket to go in the children's tent and they mm. paid a pumpkin or do a craft. Uh, making buttons are a very popular thing that we found. So making buttons is uh, something that they can color them or marker them and then take it over. And then you have a pumpkin. Uh, button to take home with you yeah no that's for sure <laughs> absolutely very cool very cool how do people find out more about this you know we event? will start we will start doing a lot of it onto facebook you know we okay. find that to be very popular we'll add it there's a, a pumpkin fest uh site where you can go uh pony express and pumpkin fest and it will take you right to it but on the website i will try to do it so you'll see a thing and you can see what the entertainment lineup is because that will be done in about two weeks uh and the other i think the other fun thing is is for people we have a parade on saturday so it's a children's walking parade so there's no anything except children so it's by age group zero to four five to eight and then eight to 12 and then a family. So we have people who mm. all dress up and then uh, high V sponsors that. And so we walk about a oh, good three little blocks back down to the mountain. And then we <laughs> announce the winners. So some families go, some people plan a year ahead on what they're going to do for yeah. a costume. So oh, yeah, gosh. So kind for of sure. fun. For sure. Very cool. All right. Now, Couple of fun questions, Cindy. This is going to be interesting. I always ask these two next questions because okay. I'm in live music and live entertainment. So, Cindy, I just want to know personally, what's the best concert you've ever seen in your entire life? My entire life? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, I guess I, um, you know, I don't go to a lot of concerts, <laughs> but you know, there's a guy by the name of Phil Vandale because I like country. And yeah, he yeah, plays, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. So, Phil plays a lot of that kind of music and so i go to a lot of if he's playing i really do like to go so you've seen phil at jake steakhouse yes that's exactly yeah right. yeah so yeah. Dee, Dee, we've played there a couple of times and i, I love yeah. everything yeah, about phil. that okay so let me ask you a different question dead or alive you could bring any one musical act to saint joe to raise money for your organization who would you bring you know, I really think that some of the bands that really the country Western, you know, if we could bring back, you know, like Johnny Cash or some of those guys who really sang the Western songs, uh, you know, because people in St. Joe love the country to a degree. Yeah. But when it's tied to the museum, it's like it all fits uh, together like a basket yeah. and yeah. people really enjoy that and you know we had someone who uh, impersonated uh singers and those people are fun to bring to the festival because they can sing the johnny cash and some of that and it's yep. kind of amazing uh what they can do and another one sings uh patsy klein uh patsy klein is very very popular uh and then we brought a lady uh, marina and I'm trying to think what her last name is. She came in 2010 and we brought her back for a party uh, that we hosted two years ago. And we had a sellout crowd of 120 people because she had been here before and yeah. sang with the group only opened. And this time she had her own concert because she is in Nashville singing all the time. Yeah, so good. it's just really fun to, yeah. you know, bring in some acts <clears throat> that people won't see any other way, you yep. know, in their lifetime. So it's really kind of fun. Very cool. Very cool. Very good. Well, thanks for being on with us today, Cindy. How, sure. do, people find, how do people find out more? Tell, go to pony, go to www.ponyexpress.org and look under events and you'll find pumpkin fest and then it will lead you there. And then occasionally just, if you want to like us on Facebook, we will be posting to Facebook, uh, starting some things here in about two weeks, uh, oh, letting people right. know. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Thanks for being on with us, Cindy. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much for inviting us. We appreciate it.